Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel today. I hope you are doing well. And welcome back to another instalment of Guardians of the Galaxy. Marvels, that is. Um, right, in the last episode we start making our way to this team fortress castle thing. I think we got plans to sell Groot so we can get some units. And, well, as you can see, we're right by the castle now and we're about to cross the bridge over to it so let's uh crack on have some fun and maybe get into a boss fight let's just get this done and just remember guys as always if you are new around here subscribe and leave a like on the video so you do not oh and turn post notifications on as well so you do not miss another video you can't be serious okay it's farther than it looked much farther. It's a flock in infinity bridge, is what it is. Are oh, you being dramatic? That's too far, man. Right? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you? Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the flock thing is looking like we need business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Let's change our mind. Moore's right. We should try selling Groot instead. Uh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. Peter Quill. We're not a democracy, Drax. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Don't worry, Drax. Groot. I'm sorry, mate. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. That's it, Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Nice. No, so go. I got to pull a long group all by myself. Look at these big flying fish, man. Jesus Christ. Whoa. How many of them are there? Okay, whoa, whoa. A little bit close. Easy, big guy. He's moosive. We just want to bring you back a new friend. He's moosive, bro. I know it can't understand me, but maybe it responds good to soothe and talk. How long is this bridge? Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. Right, maybe not. We just change camera angle. Nice. Does anybody have like a another camera angle change? Something we can sing to kill the time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait. Is the oh my god, this is so call? long. No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, really? How, how long sure. is this bridge, bro? It's like longer than a Zero point tape one measure. Clicks. Zero point two longer than clicks. a piece of string, Zero I would nine. say. Two point one. Zero point three oh my god, look at the size of this flying fish. Oh my god, mate. Zero point five clicks. Guarantee you we're going to have to end up Zero fighting six these six at some point. Clicks. I like how Rocket's just sitting on top of the thing, not doing anything. Nice one, Mr. Raccoon. Oh. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? 
Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Oh, what the hell now? Right. Oh, uh, is this copyright music? All right, do we go out now? Yeah. We're here, Mumsy. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Who's got a Pac Man cake? Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Oh, spamming what time. Those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. Uh... This one. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like <laughs> butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight. Oh, no, come on, Mumsy. We finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff, or some of we'll it, compromise. tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. it technically does. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. Reassure. Be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. Yeah, we can. No, I'm joking, can we can't. stand there? No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. Oh, a long overdue gift. And we can gift. open it together. Oh, we go. we're going upstairs. Oh, look at the doggy. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. Hey, your doggy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. There's a start the doggy. Hurry up, Star Lord. So what? Now you're too old for gifts? What? No. I was just looking around, remembering things. Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Wish they could have been here too. Yeah, we all do. Ah, oh, here we are. Here's the gift. What is it? In the box. Bro, it's just in him. Chapter 4, the Monster Queen. As 
I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woolberry! And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else. Can you explain that again? After we sell Groot, we sneak back in and use my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. Oh, a Rocket, you're going to get us into so much trouble, mate. The box. A rare creature, last of his kind, and all around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm a talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Yeah, Thanks, officer. whatever, Have a nice mate. Day. I can't awesome. wait to shoot you. Yeah. She's got an elder name. She runs a glorified zoo. That's no Look at zoo. that. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen one those teams. I have seen one tremble. Wow, we have got far to it's go fine. up, man. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Oh, come on. Bloody Why hell. did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! Jesus, this is massive. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot, warm sort of thing. You mean hot, cold, right? What? Whoa, oh, these enemies. This is going to be a massive shootout trying to get Groot back. The Kaleran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. <clears throat> a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. Yes. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. It's the Three Musketeers motto, mate. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my dreams. Oh, she's got a big friend, isn't she? I meant no offense. I know what you mean. Do not claim it. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is. Prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you. I said, milady. release it. Oh dear. We got this. Oh, Jesus. Are still. You are free here. Oh. 
What the? Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. Oh. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. I hope I went right with uh, Brute. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Oh, she's flirting with Drax, really? Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. <laughs> Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Let me tell you to flirt with her and we got to take the lead. A flora colossus. I thought your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? Yeah, mate. The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... Then you're an idiot, lady. Rocket Drax has this. Calm Maybe down, Rocket. Fifteen thousand. Oh. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. But he's our warrior. I have other commitments. Shame. We could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. She wants you, Drax. Is not not that bad for a Flora... whatever deal. Twelve thousand units it is. Look at that monster, it's got a... We'll come back for you, Groot. I promise. There we are, 12,000 units, so we got enough to pay Storms our fines. Storms of Segnaf grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be... Oh, thank you. Do we have to fight her? Fight them big monster things? Sneak into Lady Hellbender's throne room. Yeah, we can do that. Of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. 
<laughs> you guys were supposed to wait for me. You took too long. I was establishing an alibi. You were flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Oh wow, they're These all Sparco. They're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. So my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, it doesn't rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, here we go. We mess this up, sneaky, we'll sneaky. Over for group. And us. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door and it'll find group. Am I good or am I good? Those were the same options. Alright, all we need now is uh our oh, good uh, dogs ain't in here, thank god. Okay. Tracker says uh, Oh look at all these components here. I have no idea where we're gonna lob this thing, you know. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can have. Yeah. It's possible. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. Let's see what's hiding back. Yes, rocket, get in there, son. Need more noise with that? Of course. She did not ask. Get in there, tiny dude. Uh, the Signorfian night air is refreshing. Target a node right. and press panel to redirect the time. Follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, here? Done. Cool. It's you. Whoops. Must be setting our soothing sounds, volume two. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Switch this. Done. This one. Oh, here. Yep. Okay, here. I've no idea what I'm doing. Ah, oh, this thing is a mess. And I think you just triggered Lady H's mood lighting. Nonsense. Her mood is measured by the intensity of the storms outside. Well, maybe stop making me power the wrong things. Rocky, did that work? It's half powered. But I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There's got to be a second node. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Switch the uh, Peter? Close it, close it, close it! Close what? Uh-oh. We've got company! Killing permitted now, Peter Quill. Yes, now! Kill them now! Oh, I had to do this, didn't I? Yeah, it was mine. With fervor, another Hellraiser who shall not raise hell again. Glad that sorted. Oh, nice one, Gamora. Oh, sick takedown. Oh, Oof. The assassin's blade makes short well, That was not ideal. Ladies. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. This one. Oh, oh here. Yep. Uh, just a little slip. No big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Yes, I've done it. Don't worry. Like that. I can get up to the throne now. You better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. Oh, finally, after all that, it's done. See? Nailed it. That is the wrong elevator. What? He's right. Rude went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, there we go, let's I'm go sure down. They both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. This is it. We're almost there. 
I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark. Oh no, where are we going to go now? Feeling all of a sudden. Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's track just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm oh sure no. You make sure it's Scott. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. I'm assuming we're going this way, right? Peter Quill, certainly it's not best that we simply cut their throats while they sleep. Very sporting of you, Drax, and yes, I'm sure. Oh, there's Rocket. Rocket, wait for us! He did not wait. Thanks, Drax. Come on, Rocket, really? What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. What the hell is that? Ugh. Ugh. Pretty boy! Rocky, we found him! Over here! Groot! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flat. Whoa! Hey, let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. Oh, Jesus, Drax. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... <laughs> Which script you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, Twinkle toes. Good to have you back, Root. Now, all we need is an exit. Uh, I guess Groot knows the way. All right, we got Groot. Now we can get out of here. Hey, but up, on that note, What's ladies and on? gentlemen, we are going to end today's episode okay, off Groot? here. Uh, if you what have enjoyed it, the hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn post notifications on so you do not miss know. another upload. Exactly. And if you did Is enjoy today's video, guy? leave a are comment right? down below what we can do to make the series better. Or what upgrades and everything. And let me know if you like the outfits I put on so far. So with that being said, guys, Come on. keep smiling, stay positive, and peace. I told you,